Well, the owners of the Willacy County Detention Center are taking a step forward in the process of reopening that facility. It has sat vacant for more than two years. Channel 5's Frank McCaffrey spoke with people in Raymondville about the good news that they've heard. He's live there with an update. Frank. That's right. City of Raymondville officials and officials from Management and Training Corporation met today. Management and Training Corporation, of course, owns this facility behind me. They came up with a date to start inspections on the facility. That date will be Monday, and the inspections start at 10 a.m. That gets the ball rolling on the process of reopening this facility, and some local business owners who we spoke with today say they're happy to hear about it. Diana Castillo started her family-run restaurant just minutes away from the Willacy County Detention Center. It was the week before the prison shut down following a riot. The loss of jobs at the prison hurt her business. It's been about maybe 20 percent that we lost. Castillo says if the prison reopens soon, she'll welcome new business from workers at the facility. I'd like it. I, I think maybe 20, 25 percent would help me. If we're doing good right now, I'm not complaining, but it would be a lot better. Raymondville Mayor Gilbert Gonzalez says MTC representatives told him today they're eager to reopen the prison. They're, they're going to start working on the, uh, on, the, on the facility itself right now to start uh, repairing the damages and also uh, to make sure that they're, they're up to specs. Uh, we'll have our uh, enforcement, in, uh, our court enforcement uh, officer here. MTC has not set up a contract with the Board of Prisons or Immigration and Customs Enforcement to house detainees. Gonzalez says MTC contractually has until October to open the prison. After they seal the deal, they have uh, uh, five months to close the deal, like 150 days to, to be able to open up. Gonzalez says he is confident MTC will open up by October. Now, Mayor Gilbert Gonzalez also tells us that when he spoke with MTZ, MTC representatives, they say that when this facility has a contract, it will be ready. However, there is still no word on how many jobs will be brought to this ailing economy from the facility. Live in Raymondville, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News at 6.